Tarheep still deep to receive for the Terps. Still has some space. Still to the left, looking for a block. He's going to take it all the way. No flags. Touchdown, Maryland. 91 yards, and how about that for Maryland to start this game? Excellent punt. The ball was launched, but a great job of the Maryland return team just doing a good job of getting a hat on a hat, and then with still speed in space. And what a way to start. I mean, the Virginia Tech program, let's be fair, I mean, is known in many regards for their special teams. So to open up, you know, ultimately, too, Matt, it's exciting to play a sport, even though it's not baseball, in this stadium because of the tradition. This is Chance Black has a crease, takes it beyond. You know, I think in terms of how you can kind of bow up against teams that want to run the football, what their response will be. Third carry on this drive for Blumrick. Mosiah Nasili Kite with a big tackle for loss for the Terps. Where he can really spread the football around. Empty backfield now for Tunga Bailoa. Swings it left. Quick hitter and a good defensive play for Virginia Tech. Terrible at Virginia Tech at the time and to have the Yankees organization do what they did and then have it still kind of you know, reverberating through the school and the connection. Tough, harsh, no fo hard nose football is what they are looking for. That's what you're getting. So second and eight, Blumrick play fake, going to take a shot deep. His guy is there, and it is caught. Jaden Payu, what a catch, what a throw. That kick right down the middle, and Virginia Tech gets on the board. So nine, ten plays, 65-yard drive set up by a fake punt. And uh, JC certainly wanted a, a big piece of that. We're going to have you hang out with us during this drive as Roman Henby takes the kick, has a crease up the middle. He's going to take that past the 31-yard line. Jamari Connor on the tackle. Yeah, that's the way Tech's done it. And uh, I think the uh, anybody that recognizes what an outstanding place it is. Talia Tungabailoa to Daryl Jones. And I'm not sure I want to talk about the timing of that one, but Leah goes deep. I'll be honored, honest of the awkward moments on TV. That's one of them, Tim Hasselbeck. <laughs> it may rank up there. It's a beautiful throw. Yeah. But Tungabailoa, it's kind of a high angle corner route, but he moved really well. And I was excited that we we're going to see him live. Good play fake. Tungabailoa, what a catch. Brian Cobbs. Things I feel like I noticed. We've seen all kinds of playmakers. Oh, look at Littleton. Big fella. A 285-pound back with the rest of his help spread out across the field. Which part? The quarterback getting the best of the defender or the defender winning that one? Here, fourth and two. What a grab and a first down for Virginia Tech. Again, all three timeouts for Virginia Tech and Maryland. Fake to Blackshear. He's got him wide open. Virginia Tech. Malachi Thomas out of the backfield. Right up the middle, Blumrick going to take it in, and it's going to be a touchdown, Virginia Tech. What a drive for the Hokies and flags on the play after Blumrick takes it in. Big this was for Virginia Tech to kind of get some momentum going into the half. Yeah, and just it, the, the feel for your football team now, with the time that's left, I do think you've got to... Maryland decides to go and not use the timeout. And a good shot over the middle. Again, here comes the offense of Maryland. Brian Cobbs, enough for a first down, a gain of 16. Under 30 seconds here in the first half. Tonga by Loa, wide open. Jarrett, what a catch. This is a situation, Matt, where anything in the middle of the field, you kind of got to declare yourself down to give yourself an opportunity to throw it in the end zone if they don't try to do it here. Talia, again, that's what you're talking about. There's the timeout. 
kick is on the way. And Petrino nails it. So what execution out of Maryland. 24 to 10 to end the half. That is the end of the first half. For the Terrapins offense to begin the second half. What a throw by Tungle Bailoa. About as good as any receiver I've seen this year. Right up the middle, Fleet Davis. I'll, yep. take, I'll take a guy that cares over a guy that doesn't any day. Colby McDonald met immediately Virginia Tech's defense. Kind of managing certain situations of the game, like area of the field, third and ten, be smart with the football. Looked at Hemby, back to Jarrett, defense right there. And it looked as if Maryland was headed to the end zone this drive. At the end of the first half, snap clean, kick up. And another field goal for Petrino, more points for Maryland. So 11 plays, 63 yards, and three points. He's here to build this thing, and he believes he's got the foundation to do it. That's Chance Black going to try to make something happen on special teams. It's a good hard run just past the 25-yard line, over the 30-yard line. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. You know, it's a great thing. We have been uh, we are, we are a very young club, and now finally win. It was, it was a big thing for us. So, so it's, it's good to, to show uh, New York from a good side as well, and uh, finally we win something. Loxley going to go for it here up 27-10 midway through the third quarter. Plenty of time for Tonga Bailoa. Keeps his eyes downfield, has a receiver come wide open. It is Daryl Jones, Daryl Jones, touchdown, Terps. 18 to 22, 256 and two touchdowns. It is all turtle here at Yankee Stadium. A lot of big plays, a lot of home runs, 34-10, Maryland. Results of the 18. You know, developmental reps, it, you know, in the practices, in the games. Look, I could just speak as a guy that was playing for a program that had a bowl drought. Chance Black. Give the kicker the credit, Joseph Petrino. To places where they've either coached or played in the past. Play fake for Talia. Sees everyone's covered. Middle of the field, wide open for Tunga Bailoa. And that is a great job of a quarterback seeing what was available. Tim Hasselbeck, I spy I formation. Let's go. <laughs> and that's a touchdown for Hemby. This Maryland offense clicking on all cylinders. Taking Panay into the end zone. I kind of figure you as a figure skater, Matt, to be honest. You don't want that smoke. Oh, what a hit! Nick Cross forced the fumble, scoop, score, Terps. Greg Rose scooped that up. This yeah, is a what? good, clean hit. It was just good, clean execution. It's a great point, Matt, because a lot of times guys come in and, you know, out of control and maybe hit the quarterback up high. Cross doesn't do that, and really it's just the impact of the hit. Yeah, and I believe they're supposed to slide out this way. Hey, let's bring in Sam Acho, because Acho, you and I have had healthy arguments on Saturdays about targeting. It's the segment taking television by storm. You are Sacho Mind, brought to you by Sam Acho. Yeah, back shoulder throw there. It is complete. That's a good execution there. Luke Bustle. Maryland playing aggressive on third and one. And they're bringing everybody, and they get to him. What an afternoon for the Maryland defense. If there's one team that you can look to, to rise up, that's... We'll wait here to see if we get another touchdown from Maryland, and it looks like we do from Colby McDonald. So it's going to be 50-plus. Colby McDonald, 20 yards for the touchdown. Those teams, because of the talent footprint, You've got to start believing that they can have that one magical season to start the whole thing. And for the first time since 2014, Maryland has a winning record. They go into the offseason 7-6, and six, and Virginia Tech goes into the offseason of a new era led by Brent Pry.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.